Let's write three equivalent fractions for one tenth. What we're looking for is another fraction that's equivalent to one over 10. It has the same value as one divided by 10. It's just that we want to have it in a different representation where the numerator and the denominator are different. To do that, we could multiply one over 10 times one. We just get one over 10, or we could multiply it by two over two. That's because two divided by two is one. Again, we're just multiplying by one, but now one times two, that's two, and 10 times two, that's 20. And two over 20, that's an equivalent fraction to one tenth. If you divide one by 10 or two by 20, you'll get the same decimal, 0 0.1. So let's try another. Let's take one tenth and multiply it by three over three. So again, we're multiplying by three over three, which is just one. Three divided by three is one, not changing the value. One times three is three, 10 times three, that's 30. So 30 is another equivalent fraction for 1 tenth. And if you divide three by 30, you'll get 0 0.1, same as 1 tenth. One last one. If we multiply by seven over seven, again, multiplying by one, we get seven seventieths or 0 0.1, which is what we got before. This is Dr. B writing three equivalent fractions for 1 tenth. Thanks for watching.